When you think of Twitch, you don't typically think of VTubers, but in recent months, a VTuber known as Iron Mouse has made her way to the top of Twitch. Her most recent subathon has gained her over 170,000 subscribers, around $850,000, if all were just the lowest tier, this putting her at the number 3 Twitch streamer in terms of all-time peak subscribers, below Ninja and Ludwig, and cementing her in Twitch history. But how did she get here, only having an average of 40 viewers a little over two years ago. To find out, we have to go back to 2017. The great year of the fidget spinner. So, who is Iron Mouse in the first place? Iron Mouse is a Puerto Rican VTuber most notably known for her crazy personality. My god, destroy me, daddy! Her high-pitched voice and her amazing singing. Still I can hear him laugh And even though that melody plays on she was born in the United States on January 11th of 1997, now being 25 years old. She would first start streaming in 2017 on the platform You Now, but would later stream some on Twitch in 2018, and officially switch in late 2019, still occasionally streaming on You Now. She also created and started using her original Iron Mouse VTuber model around this time. Up until this point, she had steadily been gaining 0 to 300 followers per month. Then, in March of 2020, she would gain 120,000 followers. This was likely due to a few reasons. First of all, this was a few months after COVID had started. Lockdown happened and many people were online a lot more. Around this time, VTubers had also been getting very popular in the West. Twitch also added a VTuber tag, making them more accessible. In April, Iron Mouse would have an emotional stream, where she set up a donation goal for a better workspace, being her bed, as she is bedridden with her disease, CVID, which impairs her immune system, being unable to go outside, mostly stuck in her bed and away from human contact. The donation goal was passed very quickly and led to an emotional moment. You guys make me feel so normal. I've, I've lived so many years being embarrassed and feeling ashamed about being who I am and, and about my body not working properly. But you guys help me feel so normal so thank you for helping me feel human i love you guys so much a few months later on the 15th of may she would be partnered with twitch then in july became a youtube partner mainly uploading gameplay from streams at the time a mere four months later in november she would join v shoujo alongside others like project melody and nianers Starting off 2021, on the 13th of March, Iron Mouse would celebrate 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. A few days later, she would have her first stream with the very popular YouTuber, Dog VA. After Calimoriope told him about Iron Mouse on his podcast alongside the Anime Man and Giguk. He would start lurking in her streams, and after she found out, she wanted to be a part of his hentai voice acting video. She did, and shortly after, they had their first stream together, and this would lead to the start of a great friendship. A month later in April of 2021, Iron Mouse would do a collab with Fruit, Silvervail, Vaiba, and Nianers of V Shoujo. In prominent Japanese VTubers, Kizuna Ai, Hikuche Keda, and Deno Shoujo, she would have another peak in followers this month, gaining almost 140,000, more than 100,000 more than her average at the time. This is probably due to her big collabs with Dog VA and other VTubers, getting her more exposure. A month later, on May 14th, she would reach 500,000 Twitch followers. Next month in June, she would collab with Mori Calliope, the second ever V Shoujo times Hololive collab. Later in August, she would premiere her talk show, Speak of the Devil, with her first guest being Psychono a popular YouTuber and Twitch streamer. She would also reach 500,000 YouTube subscribers, and later in November, she was announced the sixth most watched female Twitch streamer of October, with 1 million hours watched. This brings us to now. On February 4th of 2022, Iron Mouse would start her subathon that would last an insane 31 days, mostly being just chatting and playing games, as her streams normally go. This led her to the top of Twitch, 
gained her the number one streamer with most active subs at the time, surpassing XQC in second place by almost 91,000 subscribers. She would also get the third most all-time subs. Iron Mouse's story is very inspiring. She overcame her illness and made something out of what she had. This was the very inspiring story of how Iron Mouse took over Twitch. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content by, um, um, not me, but yeah, like, comment, and subscribe for more.